Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and on this video we'll go through the steps to uninstall the Windows 10 Spring Creators Update or version 1803 to go back to your previous installation. You may want to do this because the update isn't working correctly, the installation didn't complete successfully and you need to reinstall it. Before proceeding, make sure that you have the Windows Data folder on the C drive. Let me show you. Just open File Explorer and inside of C you should see a windows.all folder that contains your previous installation. If you don't have this folder, you won't be able to roll back to the previous version. Also, it should be noted that you can only do this during the first 10 days you install the Spring Creators Update. After the 10 days, Windows 10 automatically deletes the windows.all folder from your computer and you won't be able to uninstall this version. If you want to roll back after the 10 days, the only way to do this is to do a clean installation of Windows 10 without the Spring Creators Update. To uninstall Windows 10 version 18.3 from your computer, do the following. Open the settings app, go to Add and Security, and on Recovery, under the Go Back to the previous version of Windows 10, click the Get Started button. Check a reason why you're going back. Click Next. You don't want to check for updates. So click not thanks. Make sure to understand what's going to happen as you go back to the previous version. For example, you will have to reinstall some of your apps and programs that you installed during the uh, time you had the Spring Career update. And you will also lose the changes you made to the settings after you install the Spring Career update. Also at this point, you have to make sure that you have a backup of your data in case something goes wrong, but this process should not affect your files. And now this is the last step. When you click the go back to an earlier build, your computer will restart and the Windows 10 Spring Creators Update or version 18.3 will be uninstalled from your computer and your device will go back to the previous version you had installed. I don't need to go back to a previous version on this computer, so I'm just going to click cancel, but that's exactly what you need to do to go back to the previous version of Windows 10. Please make sure to check the video notes for important information such as the release date of the new version of Windows 10 and much more. Remember to like the video, share it, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.